Hi guys, it's me again, story time again, and this time we have got to choose a pictured book of our choice. And so I have chosen a family favourite. This is my daughter Layla's, um, one of her favourite books, and we all love it. And we actually came across it when we took her to Chichester Library, and we, we um, loaned out the book, and then we decided that we'd um, ask Father Christmas for it for Christmas, and this is what he brought for her. So sit back and enjoy. And it's called My Pet Star. It's got the most beautiful um, illustrations in it. Lovely pictures. Okay. I found him underneath the tree. Not somewhere a star should be. He'd fallen from his home in space. Bumped and trumbled, tumbled, scratched his face. This little star had lost his glow. I picked him up. We hugged. Hello. I took him home. He'd be my pet. I'd be his cosmic super pet. Brilliant rhyming words in here as well. I cleaned off all the leaves and soil, fixed his arms and legs with foil, washed his face and rubbed his back, served up a homemade cosmic snack. I showed him pictures in my book. He couldn't read, but he could look. And when I went to bed that night, I tucked him in and held him tight. He needed love and time and care, and I had lots of it to share. As days passed by, I learned a lot about this newfound pet I'd got. He wouldn't wake until after dark. He missed our ice creams in the park. He never spoke or made a noise. He didn't play with games or toys. Just smiled and shone as if to say that being near me was okay. Soon his sparkle got so bright, I found it hard to sleep at night. Instead of snoozing in my bed, he twinkled proudly overhead. I opened up the window wide. Would he choose to stay inside? Feeling strong and good as new, into the deep dark night he flew. Now my star shines overhead where I can see him from my bed, the brightest star who wears a smile. My pet star, for a while. I hope you enjoyed that. Take care.